Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and what you see here, a 1965 C-Blue Build-A-Bug program that we are working on and we just finished the headliner in the car. I went to a vinyl because this customer wants to go back to bone stock and the vinyl look that would have been for a 65 C-Blue Beetle. Now some guys have been asking me, you know, how do you do the uh, multi-piece headliner say from 64 and onward so from 64 on this is the way the headliner would have been so basically you have still the tuck around the back window section like you see there and you have your door posts all the same but it's just top section that you see here in the roof where it doesn't come to the pillars okay so it just you put the bows in just like on my other video for the multi-piece headliner video where I use the cloth. You put these bows in, you line it all up, get it straight. You could have a tab sewn to the front strip to the front of the headliner that's going to tuck into the front bow here. Okay, then you're going to pull it back and pull it so it's nice and even. So all the bows are even straight across and then it's going to tuck, um, it's going to hook in above the back window. Okay, so just like in my multi-piece headliner video where I did a, uh, an oval window bug, follow the steps for doing the door posts. Okay, that's the same, so that's your first step. This is the door post. Then you're going to do the back window, and I remember I did the back window on the oval bug, okay, which was a little more difficult because you had to do it all in one piece. There was not going to be seams at the bottom. Okay, so what's really nice is SoFine gives you uh, all the pieces correct and when they give you the bottom piece to even do the nice tuck for you as opposed to you making the tuck yourself so as you can see here on the the edge of the headliner they do a tuck and a sew for you there which is really nice so you would basically apply the same principles and strategy to do the back window uh, area there okay so then onward after that it's the side pieces here okay so there's grippers here just like in the other video I showed you but you have this side piece and it's going to glue down here over the hump but instead of the whole piece going across the headliner the, the roof here and going across and tucking then behind this pillar here it's going to basically stop to about here okay and then once that's done these two side pieces are done left and right that's when you go to the top section here and that's where I said you're going to tuck it in in the front here there's a plastic strip sewn to the material you're gonna have to do this tuck over here again that goes right to the grippers okay but that's that's actually at the very end so once you tuck this in get it caught make sure you pull on and make sure it's 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 caught then you're gonna stretch it and pull it back to just over the back window and then there's another strip that gets tucked behind there but before you tuck it back here you want to make sure all your bows are straight okay so you're even straight across you don't want anything crooked you don't want to want this bow here while the other side is forward more you know everything's got to be straight and even so then once you have the bows all straight you tuck it in above the back window and then you start working it into the window opening so what you'll see here is this is the top of the headliner this is the top and then the material folds over this part that was after this back window section so this goes down and then this overlays on top of it and then you just start gluing it into the window openings and you pull it so what you're going to do is you're going to set it up make sure it's all straight you're going to glue the window opening and then also glue spray spray glue with the back of the headliner let them get both tacky okay so not it's, it's almost like a dry on dry state all right and then what you do is you're going to get your hair dryer or you're going to get a heat gun. Be careful of the heat gun. You don't want to burn anywhere. And you're going to start heating up the material. Put the heat gun down. You start feeling the material. Make sure it's got a nice, it's got some warmth to it and it's got some stretch to it. And you're going to stretch it into the window openings. All the way across and all making little cuts with your scissor. Okay. Just make sure you don't do a cut on the seam here because then you can run the risk of unraveling uh, the material so you don't want to do that all right so you basically get a glue to the window open and you alternate from side to side 
So from passenger to driver, driver to passenger, back and forth, until you work your way up to the front here, where you do that tuck on the door post, and then you work your way up into the grippers over the door. Okay, so you basically following a lot of the steps from my multi-piece headliner video that I did for an oval bug, um, but this is like part one piece, part multi-piece. This is 64, they started doing it this way. They were not going up the pillars anymore. So uh, yeah, that's that. And uh, this, is, this is a so fine vinyl headliner that we used and uh, came out excellent. I still got to put the heat gun to it and in some spots to get some of these wrinkles out. But that's, uh, that's no big deal. And uh, beautiful material, worked very well. Um, her stuff is made on demand, so it's not stuffed in a box and put on a shelf for months on end. And by the time you get it, it's all wrinkled. So uh, this went in very nicely. So quick tip, quick video. Just wanted to show you the differences in the headliner changes. And you apply basically the same principles that I've spoken about before. And uh, you do it uh, to this vinyl headliner, and it came out pretty good. So, All right, guys, that's that tip. Uh, got any questions, email me or visit my website, www.classicvwbugs.com. Take care. Um.